A shocking story out of Sumter County where it, it appears a python killed a child. It happened in Oxford near the villages. The snake attacked the two-year-old girl while its owner was sleeping. As our Rebecca Medina reports, tonight deputies are interviewing the child's mother and her boyfriend. This Burmese python was found on top of two-year-old Cheyenne Hare early Wednesday morning, according to investigators. We're told the toddler wasn't breathing and she had bite marks on her forehead. Fish and Wildlife told me the 12-foot snake shouldn't have been in the house to begin with because owner Charles Darnell had no permit for the reptile. Well, for one thing, they get very large. They, are, they have adapted very well to the Florida environment, primarily down south in the Everglades. These are the snakes that have gotten so big, have actually eaten alligators. Joy Hill of Florida Fish and Wildlife says by big, she means up to 24 feet long. Darnell, who is Cheyenne's mother's boyfriend, reportedly told police he put the snake in a bag, then into its cage Tuesday night. When he realized it was missing the next morning, he went right to the little girl's room and was horrified of what he saw. He described it as the snake on the child. He also said he observed the bite marks on the forehead of the child. Fish and wildlife officials say there is also a six-foot boa constrictor inside the house in a cage. The python, which was pulled out alive, will be taken to an undisclosed location where it will be checked to see if it can survive the stab wounds. If it does, it will be taken to a permitted rehab facility. Would you say it's not a good idea to have that kind of pet in a house with the two-year-old child? Well, I can only say that people who do choose to have these pets, and it is not against the law if you are having, uh, you know, if you if you are properly permitted and have the proper caging or enclosures, um, need to be aware of the, uh, the the dangers these may pose. The little girl's mother and her boyfriend are actually at the sheriff's office at this hour. They are expected to be there for some time answering questions about what actually happened inside this house. Now we are told that before all of this is over there could be charges coming, possibly charges of child endangerment and keeping an illegal reptile. Reporting from Oxford and Sumter County, Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News.